Brexit-hating global elite is watching Britain's chaos with glee. When my friend Nigel went to seven petrol stations, no fuel in any of them, and then got hit by a van, the vicious Ramona elite loved it. Because, oh, it was because of Brexit, apparently. Well, the joke's on you because it wasn't because of Brexit. He got hit by a van because people don't like him. Look, Brexit was a declaration of war on the global establishment. So, of course, Britain has been held to a higher standard than other more, I'm afraid, wimpy and compliant countries. They're sort of like those dogs that the slightest provocation roll over and expose their disgusting little tummies. We're not a dog. We're a lion, and the only way we're going to be exposing our tummy to anyone is to spray them with our glorious British fleas. The media elite magnify all of our problems. The fuel crisis, food shortages, those little fishies that just need to be taught to swim in the right bit. And they blame them on Brexit. It's Brexit shaming. Pure and simple. This Brexitophobia must end. When it comes to the end of free movement, there are some naysayers who are like, Oh, it's shrunk the domestic labour market, creating severe shortages. Um, hello? There is no appetite for freedom of movement on either side of the debate. We don't need freedom to move. We just need a healthy dose of a little thing called patriotism. If it wasn't for all these wokies turning the country against Winston Churchill and senior members of the royal family, we would have noble British workers queuing up for the chance to serve queen and country to spend 13 hours a day defecating in plastic bags. And the thing is, as good patriotic Brexiteers, they will understand that you can't put a price on freedom, which means, dare I say it, that we could actually lower the minimum wage and they can have that, just like the undocumented cleaner Jonathan and I used to have. As for these van people, what is so bad about three month visas? They get to come over here, experience global Britain and three major festivals, bonfire night, Halloween and our family's favourite, International Men's Day. Oh, I wish it could be International Men's Day every day. And then we send them back in time for Christmas. And if they don't get back in time, they can do that strange shit in a ditch game they did last year. Lorry drivers will be lorry drivers. 